Resilience, a value characteristic and trait across the planet, has benefited the lifestyles and habits for many as long as we've known. Groups and individuals widespread have seen success in their doings by utilizing this trait to help overcome hardships and adversity. More importantly, what exactly is resilience? According to Oxford Dictionary, perhaps one of the most widely used dictionaries internationally, resilience is described as the capacity to withstand or to recover, recover from difficulties or essentially toughness. Now, we all may have a different perception of this term, but it speaks for itself in the general overview. Being able to bounce back from adversities is what makes resilience desirable. This characteristic greatly benefits mental health, innovation, as well as certain individuals and groups that have excelled over time. Mental relations and stature are aided with the help of resilience, advancing one's bonds with other humans and promoting positivity. Resili resilience has shown to help the works workplace and bring technology to where it is now. Certain nations and groups have also excelled at showing resilience, modeling for the rest of the world. While conducting research on the positive effects of resilience, it was perceived that resilience is extremely beneficial towards mental health in the eyes of psychological professionals and experts. Mental impurities have been much more prevalent in recent times now, rather than in, re in earlier decades. Professionals have come to the realization that resilience, itself as a trait, has become a positive characteristic to master, however it may come to thousands around the world. The Mayo Clinic staff, a group from the prestigious hospital found in certain locations around the country stated the possible mental health overall medical benefits. Resilience can help protect you from various mental health conditions, such as depression and anxiety. Resilience can also offset factors that increase the, the risk of mental health conditions, such as being bullied or previous trauma. This trait has shown to help with trauma occurring from anxiety and depression, two common conditions seen today. The group of writers also go on to state that a person that demonstrates more resilience are, is less likely to be susceptible to mental health risks and conditions. Bart P. F. Rutten, a writer for the Department of Psychiatry and Psycho Psychology at the Wiley Online Library, adds to Leslie's points. Written alongside with other authors, an extensive lab report, a lab, extensive lab report on the benefits of resilience was conducted both psychologically and neurologically. The researchers noticed that resilience helped create quicker recoveries with those attacked from setbacks. The current literature shows that the building blocks of resilience are not merely positive ends of continu continuing with risk, but they are separate, biologically and psychologically, qualities of well-being and mental health and that enable successful adaptation or swift recovery from, the life, from life adversity. Rutten's thoughts help the understanding of resilience that has a presence in psychology and it needs to be taken advantage of. The trait of resilience has also assisted engineering and in the, in, in the workplace in time today and decades, decades before us. More importantly, resilience has effectively sparked innovation during times of drought or failure now in history before us. Some of the world's most prominent inventors, Thomas Edison and the Wright brothers, all saw success from continuing their work through their failures by applying resilience, eventually achieving their desires. Larry Schaefer, a writer for Fast Company and Senior Vice President of Marketing and Business De Development at Inspired Team, wrote an article on Thomas Edison's success by more, by more importantly, the amount of tries that it took him to get to his final product. In fact, it took 1,000 unsuccessful attempts before he created the first light bulb. According to Edison, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were, uh, how close they were to success when they gave up. Edison's many inventions and accomplishments didn't come right away, and were a collection of him committing time to working to find success. Sheila Brooks, an accurate writer for the well-known Scientific American, adds to Schaefer's thoughts on Thomas Edison by looking into the Wright brothers' resilience when creating the first uh, aircraft. Flight is too far is, is far too complex an undertaking to merely to chance upon. The great or Orwell Wright states the greatest thing in our favor was growing up in a family where there was there was always much encouragement to intellectual curiosity. Brooks notes an important thought from Orville Wright after both of their brothers had completed their invention, 
and we reflected on their father's caring behavior and their resilient attitudes to bring them to where they were when they both passed away. In this, side, in this slide, two images are shown of a workplace from the early 1900s up until the current times. Both of these groups use resilience to work, to work through their problems, and they are trying to overcome and solve, helping them achieve their aspirations. To finalize, resilience aids innovation in, in engineering and has transformed the workplace as we know it today. Certain nations and groups of people have especially excelled at showing diligent resilience. More recently, in current times today, the people of Turkey have experienced some catastrophic earthquakes that have displaced the lives of many. Groups and organizations working in Turkey have banded together, helping vulnerable individuals out of the harm of the aftermath, saving thousands and thousands of lives. In an article written by Aaron O'Brien, a credible author and contributor to this Christian Science Monitor, Aaron looks at the details of the earthquake and how it affected some of the innocent children displaced due to the earthquake's effects. The Turkish children seem aware of the tragedy, some, some disruption, but they, hold, they, they smile and hold each other close. They play all day, they talk about how they miss school and how they can't wait to go back. But amid the trash and tents, the children laugh. Greta, Greta G. Rahul, a writer for a, a stimulus host source, wrote an investigation on the sheer resiliency from the people of Haiti, who have also shown some intense, show, have also shown resilience throughout some intense hardships. Youth from even the most disadvantaged areas demonstrated Haitian resilience in that they returned to the places where they expected to find survivors. Solidarity demonstrated by Haitians helping Haitians. An assumption of normal activities despite the devastation levied by an earthquake. Rahil uncovers just how resilient the Haitian community is and proves to be role models for other sides of society. The people of Haiti and Turkey are some of the most resilient groups of people in the world and currently model this trait for me. The counterclaim. Although, even with all the positives of resilience, there are still some negatives to having too much of a resilient behavior. This is realized when one goes to an extent to try and cope with something, forcing them into a situation that could be easily been avoided by simply giving up or walking away. Thomas Chamorro for music and Derek Lutz, two writers for another stimulus host source, provided that reality for many when, it, when they realize that what it means to achieve unattainable goals. For example, extreme resilience could, could drive people to become overly persistent with unattainable goals. Although we tend to celebrate individuals who aim high or dream big, it is usually more effective to adjust one's goals to more achievable levels, which means giving up on others, a phenomenon known as the false hope syndrome. Even when past, past behaviors clearly suggest that goals are unlikely to be attained, lust and tremor for music view that, view that over, overconfidence and unfounded degree of optimism can lead to people wasting, wasting energy on pointless tasks. Both of these authors suggest that resilience is a negative trait. But even though resilience can be negative, it continuously provides to, provides to healthily benefit life wherever it may turn. Resilience has brought success to many famous people in all accounts of professionalism. Michael Jordan and Nelson Mandela perfectly, perfectly exemplify resilience in two different areas of interest. Both extremely successful in their doings, each positively benefited the world around them, bringing up others. In a list that viewed the people that demonstrated the highest amounts of resilience, Paul Bryan noticed that Michael Jordan as one of the most prominent. Jordan is perhaps one of the best players to ever walk the court on the National Basketball Association's history and created a multi-million dollar clothing company and sneaker brand used widespread across the globe. Nelson Mandela, a once, no, once well-known politician in South, South Africa, amazed thousands with his journey towards recognition. In Stimulus Source 2, an excerpt from Nelson Mandela's long walk to freedom, Mandela's resilience in prison is seen. He, noticed, he notes that while in prison, he had to keep his wits about him, demonstrating this in one incident. Prison is designed to break one's spirit and to destroy one's resolve. To do this, the authorities must exploit, exploit every, every weakness, demolish every initiative, negate all signs of individuality, all with the idea of stamping out that spark that makes each of us human and each of us who we are. After he was, after he was released from prison, Mandela would go on to become elected as the South African president and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. Both Michael Jordan and Nelson Mandela are two individuals that have helped prove that resilience is most definitely a positive characteristic and trait 
And both have shown this trait throughout their lifetime. In this my bibliography. Okay, so I don't think you ever told us why you think uh, Michael Jordan is resilient. You uh, just said he's a great player. What? Yeah, I kind of because he's a great player, make him resilient. No, yeah. I cut I cut all that part like where it's like like his like public housing to where he came up in the NBA. I cut that part out. And I find well, really probably important. need to put that in because you got to give some authenticity of what makes him. Give me some reasons why he's authentic, why he is resilient. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, uh, Dylan. And I wrote your, uh, I've read your papers. So I've read papers through K, I think. King, maybe L, no, Griffin, I haven't read yours. So I think you're next. Okay, so uh, who's next? Steele, would you get out of Q110? So Dylan Young, you're next. 